What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I want to bring you a tutorial for the Wii Virtual Console Injector Script that was previously featured on This Week in Homebrew number 3. Now the key feature that makes this stand out over playing Wii games from a hard drive is that you can use the Wii U's gamepad as a classic controller in the games that do support them. If you want to learn how to install Wii ISOs to your Wii U's home menu, then please slam that thumbs up and keep watching. First off, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description for the full list of Wii games that are compatible with the classic controller. Now since you can go ahead and play games off of your virtual Wii and use a hard drive to do it, then there isn't really too much of a reason to inject these into the virtual console unless you're specifically looking to use the gamepad as a classic controller. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I install a couple of the games listed here so that we can test it out and see if the gamepad actually works on the virtual console. I think to do that I will probably end up using Mario Kart Wii and maybe something like Harvest Moon as those happen to be two games that I already have. I am also going to be putting a link in the description for this GBA temp thread for the banners and icon templates that you can use for your different Wii games. Now this is where I'm going to be getting mine from. As you can see here the creator of this thread has gone ahead and sorted some of them by alphabetical order. So in case you needed any of these icons and you didn't want to make some yourself, head over to this thread and find the one for your game. Last thing before we get started is make sure you download Java for Windows, get version 8. Now you're going to need this for the script to work properly. A lot of people were running into problems trying to use this script at first before realizing they didn't have Java installed. Once you've got Java installed and you downloaded some banners and icons from the banner icon thread, go ahead and head over to the Wii Virtual Console Injector Script thread and download either version 1.0.4 which only works with Wii ISOs or if you happen to have a bunch of WBFS files, you can use the beta version version 1.0.5. Now also if you happen to have WBFS files you can use Wii Backup Manager to convert them back into ISOs in case you happen to have any problems with the beta version here. I'm going to go ahead and download the beta as I do have some ISOs as well as WBFS and I'd like to see if both of them work. Really quick, I'm just here in Wii Backup Manager, and as you can see, I could take a game such as Mario Kart Wii, which happens to be in a WBFS file format, go ahead and click the little checkbox beside it, and then go to Transfer, and transfer it to an ISO. Now I'm going to go ahead and just stick this ISO on my desktop, and as you can see, it's now converting it back over to an ISO, in, again, in case you were having any issues with the WBFS file and using the beta script. I'll go ahead and put a link to Wii Backup Manager in the description just in case you don't have it yet. We're here in the downloads, right click Wii Virtual Console Injector Script and use 7-zip to extract it to its own folder. You can now go ahead and open this up and inside of here you will see your script as well as source files, templates and tools. Now what you want to do is go ahead and put all of your icons and banners inside of source files as well as your ISOs. I've gone ahead and added Mario Kart Wii and Muramasa the Demon Blade both as ISOs as well as I've gotten Animal Crossing City Folk as a WBFS file. Now I've also got their banners and icons all zipped into RAR format up here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three and then extract them with 7-zip to their own folders. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those real quick and delete these random injector zip files. Now all I have to do is take the game I want to use and rename it to game.iso or game.wbfs and go ahead and take it, drag it into source files and then since that was Mario Kart Wii I'm going to open up my Mario Kart Wii and I'm going to take these files that are in here and I'm going to go ahead and put those into source files as well. Now that I have my game as well as its banners and icons all inside of source files all I have to do is run the Wii Virtual Console Injector Script and it's going to start doing its magic. Open up Wii Virtual Console Injector Script and it should open a little command window and then it's going to ask you for a specific eShop title key and it's asking me for Rhythm Heaven Fever. Head over to Google and type in Wii U Title Keys website and click the first link that pops up. 
over here on that Wii U title key site. I've typed in Rhythm Heaven Fever and here is the game. Now you're gonna go ahead and copy the title key right here. Do not click the blue copy button as it'll also copy the title ID and that will screw up the installer. Back on the injector script, gonna go ahead and hit Control V and paste in the title key and then press the enter button. And now it's gonna ask you for a Wii U common key. Again, head over to Google and type in Wii U common key and maybe put paste bin on the end just to make things a little bit easier. Again, control V, paste in your Wii U common key and then press the enter button. It's then gonna ask you to enter in the name of your game. I'm gonna type in Mario Kart Wii and then hit enter. Enter the publisher of your game. I'm gonna put in Nintendo. Will your game use the classic controller, Y or N? So go ahead and hit Y for yes, and then hit enter. Do you wish to specify a meta title ID manually? If you don't, one will be randomly assigned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit no and just let one randomly assign. I've now pressed the enter button and it started to go through its little process here. Go ahead and let the script do its thing and I will catch back in with you guys in an estimated around five minutes it says. After a while, the injector script will turn its text color to green and tell you to press any key to continue. If it happened to freeze any time during the conversion process, then just go ahead and press the enter button in the console and it should start it back up again. So I'm gonna press any key to continue. So now that the installer script is completed inside of our folder here, you will find a new folder called Mario Kart Wii. And inside of it is all of the things that Whoop Installer GX2 needs to install it to your Wii U's home menu. So in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and convert Muramasa the Demon Blade as well as Animal Crossing City Folk. And then I'm gonna show you how you can put these onto your SD card, put them back into your Wii U, and then get them installed. So to prepare another game, open up your source files and then go ahead and change your game.iso back to its actual game name. So I'm just gonna type in Mario Kart Wii. Now I don't need any of these anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the banners and icons. And I'm just gonna move Mario Kart Wii out of there. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and use Animal Crossing City Folk as it is a WBFS and I'd like to see if the WBFS files work on this little beta injector script. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename Animal Crossing to game.wbfs, drag it over into our source files folder, and then I'm gonna open up Animal Crossing City Folk and go ahead and grab all the banners and icons and drag those again into the source files next to Animal Crossing. So now all we have to do is open up the virtual console injector script again, and since we already entered in the Wii U common key as well as the eShop title key for our, that specific game, we can just go ahead and convert anything we want. Meta variables, enter in the name of your game. Publisher your game, I'm just gonna put Nintendo again. Will your game use a classic controller? I don't think it's compatible, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put no. And then do you wish to specify? I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna hit no and just let it do its own randomly. So I'm gonna let this run through and do its thing and again I will catch you guys in a second. Animal Crossing City Folk is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and press any key to continue. And now I've got an Animal Crossing City Folk folder next to my Mario Kart Wii folder. Last up is Muramasa the Demon Blade. Gonna go ahead and name it game.iso, drag it into the source files and then go ahead and take its boot icons and there we go. Go ahead and open up the Wii Virtual Console installer Type in all my variables, go ahead and hit enter, and it's gonna do its thing. Muramasa has completed, I'm gonna go ahead and press any key to continue. On the right, I have opened up my Wii U's SD card. Now, if you don't have an install folder, go ahead and create one. Now, I'm going to be taking my Animal Crossing City Folk folder, my Mario Kart Wii, as well as my Muramasa the Demon Blade folder, and I'm gonna drag these all into the install. Now on your Wii U's SD card inside of the install folder, you should have your three games that you wanna install. Go ahead and safely eject your SD card and then reinsert it into your Wii U. Now that you've reinserted your SD card, go ahead and boot up your Wii U. Once it's loaded, enter into custom firmware, either Mocha or Hackschi, and then go ahead and open up Whoop Installer GX2. So I've entered into custom firmware and I've opened up Whoop Installer GX2. Down here on the Wii U gamepad, go ahead and check off the games that you want to install. As you can see, there's all three of my games. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And it's going to ask you if you want to install them. I'm going to hit yes. And then it's going to ask you if you want to put them on your NAND or your USB. 
I'm gonna suggest putting them on your USB and then using the system settings to move them over to your NAND afterwards if you would like. If you happen to install them to NAND and the installation fails, then you might have some dead space on your Wii U's hard drive that you can't get rid of without doing a system format. I'm gonna go ahead and install them to my blank USB and later move them over to my NAND once the installation has completed. I'm gonna go ahead and let WUP Installer do its thing and I'll catch you guys in a second. All three games are installed. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and press the home button to exit out of WUP Installer. And then press the home button again to exit out of Homebrew Launcher. I'm back on the Wii U home menu and you can see I have three new Wii Virtual Console games installed and they look awesome with their little icons. I, I can't believe it, it's freaking sick. I'm gonna go ahead and launch each one and see if they work. First up, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Mario Kart Wii and see if we can use the gamepad to steer. As you can see here, when you launch the game, if you happen to hit yes on using the Wii U gamepad to emulate the classic controller, then the game's gonna go ahead and ask you if you wanna use the Wii U gamepad. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. There's the custom little animation. I've loaded up Mario Kart Wii, it started playing. I've got the gamepad here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the A button and it, it picked it up. How cool is that? Go ahead, hit A again and look at that. It's got my save file still. That's awesome. So we're starting the race here. What's awesome about this is you can play on the actual Wii U gamepad so you don't actually even need the TV. So I've basically just turned Mario Kart Wii into a Game Boy game here. And that to me is absolutely freaking awesome. Look at this. I can't believe this works right now. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. So you guys can see this is working absolutely flawlessly. This is really cool. Really, really cool. I didn't think I'd have much use for this, but honestly, this is badass. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try out the other couple of games because this is clearly working too well. I've gone ahead and opened up Muramasa the Demon Blade and again it's asking me if I want to use the Wii U gamepad. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. There's a cool little custom made logo, not too bad. Here we are. The Demon Blade is working perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and try to play a level here and we'll see if it's actually working perfectly with the gamepad. I've got Muramasa, the Demon Blade loaded up. Here I am. I'm using the gamepad to control it. Absolutely awesome. I can't even believe it, honestly. So again, I've got another Game Boy game here, essentially. And there you have it, another one working perfectly fine. I, I can't believe how well this works. Last up, I've launched Animal Crossing City Folk and it is not supported with the classic controller. And as you can see here, it's asking me to use a Wiimote and a sensor bar. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Well, I'm playing Animal Crossing City Folk with the Wiimote and I'm using the gamepad, which actually has a built-in infrared sensor bar. So I can go ahead and use the Wiimote on the actual gamepad. So how cool is this? What's great is this keeps all my saves that I was already using before when I was launching the Wii games from my hard drive. Pretty freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you happen to have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. If you haven't slammed that thumbs up, please do that, that would be awesome. We're almost at 6,600 subscribers, so make sure you guys go ahead and slam that subscribe button as well. Much love. I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, one last thing. Make sure you guys head to www.nintend.news if you wanted to see a written version of this tutorial. See you later.